Welcome back to part three. We are now looking at doing some more weathering. Oh, in the in the in the light, this looks fantastic. Look how good this looks. Uh, I'm going to be working on the bottom bit this morning. Same process I did in uh, part two. So if you haven't watched that, please go back and watch it. Uh, if you haven't watched part one, what are you doing here? This is part three. Uh, so I'm going to work all on the bottom here. I'm going to respray this. I've got some drab green which is like a an army green because someone mentioned in one of the groups I'm in that that should be green uh, so I found some spray paint for that so I'm going to spray that too get all the bottom down here done uh, like as, as if it's been proper muddied through because uh, I want this whole bottom to just be like mud it's just the way I want to be and then like I said in the last video I'm going to apply when that's dried the uh, sealant which is like a clear lacquer this is uh, matte crystal clear so you won't see it and it's but it's not going to give you a shine that's what you don't you don't want to shine this you want it to look metallic but you don't want it to look shiny so it's going to take back and even take back some of the shine that's on at the moment so i can't wait to get into this and i'm going to set my camera down get to work on this bottom part because that's going, to, that's going to take the most time i could do it while i was on the stand in the kitchen which is why i'm now in my shed you look around it's a very very messy shed but it is the shed uh, and partly because my kit's been in the kitchen for the last, since Friday, so what's that? Uh, since Thursday, so four days been in the kitchen and the missus starting to moan. So, we've been delegated down the shed. Let's get into this, I'm going to get this bottom bit done and then we'll talk about some of the other bits I've got to do because I, I, I did actually have arrived yesterday, a lot earlier than I thought, the gold rum buff. This is going to be... It's, it's it, what is this? Wax me the colour was autumn gold. That was it. It was autumn gold because it looks bronzed, and it's going to make some of the heads of these things that should be bronze, bronze looking. And then I'm going to weather them too. So, uh, so I'll go a bit dark anyway. Nice. Let's get into this, and I will see you in a bit. Here's some music. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm done for today. This video uh, is more of an extension from yesterday, really. I couldn't get it all done in one go yesterday because I need to get up to the bottom and get all this weathered up. And with it being on the stand, just can't get to it. So today I've done that. I've gone over some bits and pieces and added some color to some of the rivets and some of the, uh, what do you call them, nuts and the bolts, that kind of stuff, uh, the bolt heads. And done a bit more weathering around here and sprayed it up so I want to get that spray done today so I've used the where are you the flawless lacquer that's been used today to finish it off to seal it up and it's still wet but it's it's actually drying really nicely actually it looks really really good so that's going to weatherproof it I mean I wasn't too worried about the brown plate so this, this thing has been fantastic the plastic coat the, the brown plastic coat to make the muddy look has been fantastic and that would have been waterproof. The only problem is it's going on top of the silver that I put on, the rub and buff. Now the rub and buff is not waterproof at all. So this is just going to seal it all up. Uh, this will be weatherproof to a degree. I mean, you wouldn't want to be out in, in the pouring rain anyway, because you know you've got electronics in here and you've got open parts. But in terms of being on a on a troop or on a or at a con that's open like an open air con, or if you're doing a charity event like I do a lot of charity events, then this thing is going to be fine if it starts drizzling. Gives you time to get out of the rain. Uh, so on that note as well, I just wanted to say that, uh, oh, the other thing I did as well, on the, I can't see it, but down here somewhere boop, 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 is my hose that I've actually painted the bottom bit uh, green, the, the, the gas mask lead uh, bit I've painted green. So that's uh, drying just down there and I'll put it back on in a minute. The only other thing I wanted to say about is uh, in a couple of months time, on April the 1st, I'm putting together a massive Ghostbuster event in South Sea, on the south coast of England, if you're in the UK, uh, and you want to join, please hit up the link in the description. It goes to a Facebook group. It's my Facebook group called Portsmouth Ghostbusters. And I have a uh, pinned post in there that explains what's going to happen on the 1st of April. Now, I don't know the, the actual location just yet. I'm in talks with a pretty big uh, like outlet shopping centre type dealio down in the south coast. It's a pretty big deal. Uh, Gunworth Keys 
And if we can get in there, fantastic. If we can't, my second option is to do a street fundraising event down outside the cancer research shop in Southsea, which is in Palmster Road. They're the two options. I'm, I'm hoping option A will come through for us. Uh, I hope I and Gunworth get back to me and they, they allow us. Because that would be amazing. That would be a massive, huge event. And if we can get a bunch of Ghostbusters down there, that would be fantastic. If you're interested, even if you can only make it for a couple of hours, it would be pretty damn awesome to get a load of Ghostbusters together. Uh, outside of the con, we want to make this the biggest event that uh, we could possibly put together for Ghostbusters. Let's do this. Let's try and do it. And I'd like to see other people's packs as well. So let me know in the comments down below what you're doing with your uh, uh, Hasbro pack. Are you doing anything like I'm doing? Are you taking any inspiration from my videos? Hopefully, uh, if you are, let me know. I'm, I'm always uh, always more than happy to hear what's going on with other people's packs and stuff like that. That'd be amazing. Uh, so my next video will probably be the final in this series. This will be after my next video. I will be I'll be con ready. I'll be event ready. This will be cosplay ready. I've got a few bits to do now on my uh, other packs, my spirit pack. I put a load of this stuff. This is the same stuff we got here, but it's just in the actual yellow, the the, the dull yellow and black, which is quite nice. I'm gonna put this on my hose like I did in my on my last. Uh, uh, pack my spirit pack. You might have seen the video. I've got a video of, of the upgrades I did. I'm gonna put that on there. Give it, give the hose a bit of colour. I'm not a big fan of the hoses that come with these things. They're a bit rigid. It might be something I swap out later to something like I did with the other one. And with my other one, I used this. This now this is just uh, rubber hose. It's just a really thin rubber hose. Uh, it's for plumbing. I don't know where I got it. I think it was on Amazon. I don't know. Uh, but it makes it a little bit easier to manage. Now, it does make the hose heavier and it is thinner, which is why having this on makes it look thicker. Uh, but I might put that on there anyway. I've got enough of this stuff to use it, use loads of it. I've got loads of this stuff. I've got like, I think I have like five or 10 meters of it. It's ridiculous. Uh, but if I do, the only thing I remember with it, we're putting, replacing the hose with something like this is this is heavier. So if you go to take your, your, uh, your wand off, and you're holding your wand and you can't get it back on, you want to put it on your belt. Sometimes with the hook, what it will do is it will want to spin around because the weight of this will push the top end or the back end down and it will keep falling off. That was the only thing I found which was a problem, but it's more manageable in terms of getting through doorways. Uh, that's the, the biggest problem with these things because they're so rigid, they stick out so far sometimes. I mean, you can heat them up and re, re kind of reshape them. Uh, and I might do that in a video, I don't know. At some point, just to just to bring it in to the body a little bit closer. But other than that, I've got that to do. That's going to be on my next video. I've got some paint pens. Now I was on and on about taking out this whole this whole uh, uh, thing here and having uh, real wire coming through there and the real wire coming through this bit. I might actually do that at some point in the future. But as a quick sort kind of fix, now I'm going to paint them. I'm going to paint where the wires should be. The coloured wires that go through here, all right through the, that that kind of uh, loom thing there, and the wires that come out of here, I'm going to I'm going to get some reference pictures and paint them up, and then weather them. Obviously, I have to weather them, uh, but that's not a big deal. Until I can find uh, a solution, I've got I've got actually got a mate on it trying to find the actual trying to get a cable uh, with the with the cable tie uh, stuff, the plastic tie stuff with loads of cables for it. He's uh, looking into that as we speak, but it means opening it up. I don't want to open this up just yet, because last time I opened my spirit pack up, I, not that I broke stuff, but I just felt like it wasn't the same afterwards. Do you know what I mean? You see inside of it and you're like, oh, it's not kind of the same. So I don't want to open it up just yet, uh, but it will be something I could do in the future, or, or, or I'll go to a mate and get a mate to do it, because that's probably the best option. So until the next video, please like this one if you got anything out of it. Uh, share it if you can, that'd be fantastic. Share it through around the groups and stuff like that uh, in the community. I'm always, I'm always happy to talk to people. If anyone's got any questions, please leave them down below. And if you uh, haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do so. Uh, this is my personal channel. I don't know why I put these on. I've actually got a cosplay channel, but I put these on my personal channel because I don't know why. But uh, anyway, yeah, subscribe if you can. That'd be fantastic. Hit the notification bell so you get updates every time I upload a new video. And until my next one, which is going to be my final one in this series for now... Uh, take care. Bye. Well, it still works.